It's been a long time since I did one of these, and I recently got another submission in my proposal review form. I'll have it down below in case you want to have a look at it. So, the cover letter reads, Dear Christine, I hope my message finds you well. By the way, <laughs> there's a typo here, so again, encourage you, everyone, even if you're fluent in English or a native English speaker, just download Grammarly. It picks up things like this. It's just a good idea all around. To fulfill the responsibilities outlined in the job description, I propose the following approach. One, design and development, develop efficient, efficient web scraping scripts tailored to targeted websites, leveraging appropriate libraries and techniques. Two, data manipulation, perform comprehensive data cleaning, pre-processing and manipulation using Python libraries to prepare data for analysis. Three, scalability and efficiency, implement strategies to ensure the robustness, efficiency, and scalability of web scraping solutions, enabling handling of large volumes of data. Four, integration and collaboration, collaborate closely with teams to integrate scraped data into databases, applications, or APIs for further analysis and operational use. And five, Continuous improvement. Stay updated with advancements in web scraping techniques, technologies, sorry, and methodologies. Continuously enhancing processes and techniques. This one's techniques. It then says, I'm a seasoned professional with extensive experience in developing and implementing data extraction techniques using Python. My expertise encompasses designing web scraping scripts. <laughs> that seems like a tongue twister. Web scraping scripts. Not that it's wrong in any way. Performing data manipulation and analysis. I'm excited about the opportunity to contribute to your team and leverage my skills to drive actionable insights from web data. I'm available for further discussion to explore how my background, skills, and approach align with your requirements. Sincerely, Ahmed M. P.S. I would like to propose a meeting to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of my contribution to the success of your project. Let me know a convenient time for you to discuss this further. And then you send, I believe, yeah, it says it's a resume. First things first, I think this is great. I love that you broke it down in steps. The only thing that comes to mind is this, as you could probably tell, was quite hard to read and had a lot of industry specific terminology and stuff like that. If the client is super proficient in tech and all that kind of stuff, fine, but I would simplify it nonetheless, especially if the client is not in the tech industry, I would dumb it down a lot because you want a client to understand what you're saying. They don't need to understand the ins and outs. So Instead of saying everything technically that you're going to do, describe each step on maybe what you would need from them or what they would get at the end of each step. So for example, what do you need from them to do the design and development? And at the end of that step, what do they get? Do they get a kind of overview of what you've been doing? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what do they need to give you and what do they get at the end of that step? That's all they care about. They don't care about how you get there and just that you get it done. So what I'm going to do is, if I can, I'm going to download this so I can copy and paste it. Hold on. Copy and paste it. Let's go to my download. And I will just select this text and paste it into a Google Doc. So we'll edit it together if I can select the whole thing. All right. Let's open up Google Docs. Where is it? And let's go. Let's paste it here. Yeah, so right away it tells me, you can see it was Grammarly that told me that. It also do, does some corrections. This one is not correct, so you can always ignore Grammarly, by the way. But I would say most of the time it gets it right. Here I would delete this. I don't know what the goal with the project was, what like the title of the job was, but here I would add some sort of hook. 
then to fulfill the responsibilities. So I would say, dear Christine, let's do X together. And X would be kind of the final result of the, the final result of your project. And here I would delete this part. And I would say, in order to do that, I propose the following approach. And then here I would keep it, but I would say, so design and development, develop efficient web scraping scripts. Yeah, here I would leave up to you, but I would simplify it. Actually, let me see if I do, because I have this AI thing. You simplify the text above and dumb it down a bit. Okay, let's see. I mean, it really cut it down. Now, whether this is relevant for you or not, you would know better than me, but I'm going to roll with it, assuming it's correct. Again, you're already expert in your field. I'm not, so take this with a grain of salt. But again, you can even utilize AI, you know, ChatGPT. I know Upwork now has an AI, which isn't too bad. I was actually surprised by it. Let me just clean this up real quick. All right. So again, didn't read through this at all. Not my thing, but as you can see, it already looks much easier to skim through. And that's the thing you have to, and I say this a lot, so sorry if you heard it before, but you have to understand the client is not only getting your application, your proposal, your cover letter, they're reading probably dozens of them. Very likely they are not reading every single word. So the easier you can do for them to just skim through it. So dear Christine, I love that you said their name, by the way, props to you for that. And tell them right away what they get out of working with you. So it makes them want to continue reading and then break it down in steps. That way it also shows that you know how the project will go. So that's a bonus point, but keep it simple. Keep it to the minimum. Like you can always discuss details later but less is more here probably i would try to say as a seasoned professional with extensive experience using python this is probably a little bit much so as a seasoned professional na, 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 i am excited about the opportunity to contribute to your team and leverage my skills to drive actionable insights from maybe from your web data does that make sense for you and then I would say here, and I would kind of mix this with this that you have in a PS. So I'm available for further discussion to discuss how, whatever I'm available for a meeting. Maybe you say your availability. So like Monday to Friday from Y to Z time and then time zone mention the time zone always please let me know a, a time a convenient time for you to discuss this further something like that you know again reword it as it makes sense for you but yeah this is much simpler uh, again we can see this one right here is a lot more bulky especially in this middle area and i kind of condensed it down so yeah those are my thoughts for this proposal review thank you for watching and again if you have a proposal or a profile, I've also reviewed profiles. If you have something you'd like me to review, leave it down below in the form. And if you want to check out the rest of the series, check it out right here and I'll see you next time.